Hey guys, welcome back. So I need to run a couple of tests on some DOM tubing. I'm going to be welding it up, cutting it, etching it, and seeing what we got. But in order to get there, I need to prep this tubing. And what I need to do is I need to fish mount it, notch it, cope it, whatever you want to call it. And we can do that by hand. However, that takes some time. And since we threw away our Harbor Freight tube notcher that was just junk, I said, look, I want to buy another one that has good reviews but doesn't break the bank. And I said, hey, what the heck, let's give Amazon a try. So here you guys have it. It's going to be, this is the $100 Amazon tube notcher, all right? And stuff like this, I'm not sure if you can see it, but it's been taped up like 10 times, right? Kind of worries me because that means it's been opened several times. Wow. Right off the bat, I'm going to tell you, this is way sturdier than the Harbor Freight one. All right, let me get a hole saw. Okay, so we have a inch and three quarter hole saw here. And uh, the shaft here has uh, two sizes here. One for that fits the hole saw here, the adapter, and then the smaller one, right? So what we're going to do... And I'm not going to jerk you guys' chain here. I'm not sure where this washer goes because it didn't come with instructions. But hey, we'll do what we got. I almost feel like it goes up here. So, bam. We'll give that a try there, right? Looks pretty good. Really, none of this looks super cheap and flimsy. Nothing to worry us right now, worry me at least. And this tube notcher notches from zero to 60 degrees. So we're gonna leave it at zero and see what we could do here. All right, we have a four inch piece of tubing here. I did have to remove this washer here because as I clamped down, the hole saw was hitting the tubing and it wasn't fully seated. So I took it out to create some clearance and now we're good to go. All right. Oh, one more thing. If you're going to use something smaller than four inches, right? See how it doesn't reach it? You need to push it forward to make your notch. You may need to get that sleeve that goes around it. It's just a uh, like an extension sleeve to hold it in these jaws here so it doesn't fall out, right? So let's give it a go. I'm probably going to put it in the vise. Look at that, right? Yeah. Look at that, and you can rotate it. I'm sure, you guys saw that. So we got some adjustment there too, right? So I'm gonna, well, all I'm going to do is I'm going to tighten those up. All right. So other than the um, the actual vise shaking, right? There's really not a lot of play on this shaft here. And you'll see, uh, once you start spinning it, you'll see some of the play. Whew. All right, let's do this. So right now I'm gonna drill it vertically perpendicular to the ground right but what you could also do is just flip it over so you can just do it parallel to the floor right if that saves some time now since i don't want to go through a bunch of bits here the hole saws you can just add some lube here make sure it's nice and tight all right yeah buddy all right let's see it Wow. Now here's a true test, right? The Harbor Freight one. Sound on this side. 
Now, the Harbor Freight Tube Notcher was really off. And when I'm talking about off, I'm talking about that's good. Ooh, look at that baby right there. Hmm. That is a good notch right there. I mean, I still got to clean it off a little bit, right? But so the Harbor Freight Tube Notcher, what what mine did was instead of notching straight down, right? The hole saw was actually offset uh, quite a bit, quite a quite a bit, maybe like a, an A three sixteens, maybe. And uh, so you had to add washers to this holding fixture right here to get it centered, right? But I mean, this one was pretty good. Let's uh, shoot. Let's flip it over. And I do want to point out that if you do or have used a Harbor Freight tube notcher, this one here, the Harbor Freight tube notcher, the uh, hole saw is. Damn, the whole thing is uh, there's a whole lot of movement uh, in the shaft here. This one's pretty uh, pretty stable, right? Let's, let's do it again. There we go. All right, here we go. And I'll show you how even it is because this one here how centered the hole saw is to the clamping mechanism right because see the two flat surfaces there on the top where I chopped it off with the chop saw they're equal on both sides so hell I would weld that right now. Yeah, buddy. And I'm going to be honest with you guys. I haven't had the need to notch any tubing within the, at least a year and a half. So spending $500 on a tube notcher really didn't seem reasonable to me. Hell yeah. Since it's something I'm probably going to use for this weekend and then put it aside for about another year. So to me... It made a little bit more sense buying something that's uh, on the lower end of the spectrum, but something that's not going to break down immediately, right? All right, guys. Obviously, five notches is nothing for a two notcher, and we're not going to get real, real longevity reviews uh, immediately, right? But so far, so good. It didn't disappoint me right out of the box. It did its job, and it did a pretty damn good job of it, right? And for 100 bucks on Amazon, shit, I'd rather do that than spend three days prepping all these uh, coupons for me to do these tests, right? So, let's get to work. I'll see you guys. Thanks for watching.